I use these syringes to uh, distribute grease. Team Baxter. I generally don't use the grease that's supplied in kits. I generally use my own grease. Uh, here I have marine grease and here is a grease called Red and Tacky from Lucas. Here's my can, Red and Tacky and also have marine grease. I use these syringes. I got them from the hobby shop. They're called Monojack 412s. Um, I actually, this is a one-time purchase. I keep refilling them, and that's what I want to share with you right now. Um, they're really great, and they come in handy. Uh, but obviously, sometimes you have to refill them. They don't empty very often, to be honest. Um, you don't have to do this too many times. Um, these are really good at putting putting the grease right where you need. You have to be really careful when you're pulling it out so that rubber seal doesn't detach from the the shaft itself. Um, this has been a while since I've changed this obviously and so the back end tends to dry up a little bit behind the grease a little bit back here in this um, so just be careful when you're pulling it out and it should come right on out and as I'm reaching the end just give a little extra caution kind of help it out a little bit and smear off the extra bit of grease that you might get there so now you got it separated now I'm gonna fill it so pop the top of my grease this is a plastic fork obviously I want a spoon but I don't have a plastic spoon right now don't use your wife or your mom's um, good silverware cause it's not gonna go good it's your nice healthy chunk of grease to a plastic bag regular old sandwich bag, stick your hand in it, grab the grease, pull it off of the fork. Ball the grease up, turn the bag inside out. If you've ever seen anybody decorate a cake, you know exactly how this is going to go. Push all this down to the end, work it on down before you pop your hole in there. Once you get it down there, go ahead and put your hole in there. I like to kind of shape it a little bit before I put my hole in there just so that I know that it's going to flow right where I need it to. That's the point. So I'm going to poke it right there. I'm not big hole. This thin plastic will spread on you and you don't want it to go everywhere so you put that in there it's just a little bit bigger hole and squeeze your grease down in there I don't know if you can see it but it's pushing right on down in there you don't want to overfill this thing. About halfway is good enough. It's probably actually a little bit too much right there. So pull this hair out of here. <laughs> and um, I'll just discard the rest of this or put it back in my in my tube for zero waste. Throw the plastic bag away. So that was the hardest part of there and you can see it went in pretty clean and wipe the top off before you put the, the shaft back in still a little bit's gonna work its way out but you can get her in there and then you need to push the air out and the grease will be coming out. So that's how I refill my syringes. This one is actually a little bit um, too full. I generally only like to fill them about there. Uh, it just makes it a little bit 
more difficult to handle properly but it'll help it'll help it last longer so same thing with the other one only I fill it with marine grease so it's a handy little tool I, I use during most of my kit builds I use these um, I use the red and tacky for transmissions and I use the marine grease anywhere there's outside seals I will put them around the outside bearings anywhere where water can go in um, during my water play so that's my syringe and how to refill them